welcome to the place where I spent a lot of my childhood, the kitchen. And this is obviously my kitchen at home. Uh, one thing what I've been asked to do is how do you make black peas? Yeah, you go to the markets, you see them all sat there in a little bag just like this. But how do you cut them? And that's what this video is all about. Now, personally, I remember <coughs> being a kid, you used to go to the fair, have a good time, and then you go into a big tent. And first thing what you smell is the black peas, and you get a cup and you fill it up, and it was nice, it was thick, and it was nutritious. Uh, and you used to go to the back, sit it in front of this little fire. It's a wonderful little thing. Everybody chatting and everything else. Now, the last time I went to the fair, I got the black peas, the tent had gone, the fire had gone, it was horrible. So what we're going to do today is try and make black peas as there was back in the day. And I know people who <laughs> I went to school with is probably laughing their heads off now going, Oh, this brings back memories. He's back in the kitchen. And you see him. Right, so where we are then. So the first thing that we need to do is get the black peas. These particular ones was bought from Lee Market. They cost the total of 80 pence. And that was it. If this video ever goes viral, these cost five pounds. <laughs> so what we need to do first is just get the peas and put them into a measuring jug. And what we're basically looking for, looking for now is the line of where the peas have gone to. Because that line is going to be the indicator of how much water we're going to need. So, stage two. Once we've got the peas done, what we need is a colander. I'm just going to put that on the sink, put the peas in, and just give them a good old rinse. So while we're actually rinsing these, if anything does pop out, don't worry about it, just put it back in, keep the water going, and it'll be lovely. Right, so the peas have been nicely washed, and what we have to do is match the water to the same level as the peas. So what I'll do is fill this up roughly to what we need. And if I just put that there, if you have a look at that water level now, that's roughly how many peas was actually in there. And what we're going to do is use four of these. So, but what we're going to do for the time being is just put that to one side. And dishwasher, yes, he used to wait wash it, uh, washing up at school. Still do. So, good old dishwasher. And what we're doing is just getting the crock pot. And this is where we're going to put the peas in. So what we want to do now is get the peas and just simply put them straight in the pot. And they're actually in there. So, the next thing what we need to do is simply add the water. Now don't forget, four. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. And what we end up with is basically lots and lots of peas at the bottom which is just submerged with water which is uh, exactly what we want at that point and the final thing that we want now is a teaspoon, flat teaspoon of salt and what we're going to do is just sprinkle that in and that's it, it's more or less ready so what I'm going to do is take this over to the crock pot. Right, so here we are. We've got the peas full of full of water, nothing but water, and we're going to put them into the actual pot. Right, so now what we need to do is make sure that we set it to low because it's going to cook. It's now 11 o'clock at night and we want this to cook literally for about seven or eight hours. Right, so lid on, on low, 11 o'clock, bedtime, see you tomorrow. 
Right, well here we are, it's the following morning and let's see what we've got. So these have been in there for about seven hours now and we just need to take the lid off and give it a start. Now suddenly you see that all the gravy starts to appear which is nice. And the only thing what we need to do now is add in four crushed beef stock cubes. Like so. Give it another quick stir. Lift back on. And then put it on there for about two to three more hours. Let it thicken up and we're done. And that's how we make our 80s style black peas. Right, so here we are two hours later. We'll take the lid off. And as we can tell that they're kind of darker colour now. So the only thing what we need to do is give them a quick stir. And they look a lot better than what they did about three hours ago. So the only thing what we need to do now is put them on low so they'll keep warm and available all day. Use a spatula and put them into our favourite cup. Now the reason why it's a cup is traditionally we had them put in cups. Um, I've got this little plastic one here which I got from a cafe when I had a cup of coffee the other day. And we'll just fill it up. It's a look a bit difficult to do using the cameras but... <laughs> You know, so what we'll do now is go back to the conservatory and we'll have a chat about the calories, nutrition, and I finally get to enjoy my favourite. Right, so here we are now, it's Sunday afternoon, and we're in the conservatory. Very nice, it's a nice day for once. And of course, we have got now the super black peas, which I don't know if you can see in there, looking really nice. By keeping those on warm in the crock pot. The only thing what it's going to do is just thicken up and if you want them to look a bit thicker just leave them or put them in the fridge overnight and they'll really thicken up and then just warm them up the following day. What you've got to remember is the salt. So we only put a little bit of salt in so you can add a little bit more for taste. And of course the vinegar. Uh, if you like vinegar, shake a little bit in there. Give it a quick stir and give it a taste. And Mm. Look a bit warm, but bring you back memories. So we're dressing the plan. Next year, you probably buy the book if you do. Wonderful. So what we're going to have a look at is the actual black peas. So what they do contain is iron. Uh, they've got four percent iron in there, and they actually contain ten percent calcium. So relatively speaking, there's no vitamins, but relatively speaking, they're not that bad. Now we cut 400 grams, which would equate to 528 calories, uh, which would also have no saturated fat, so anybody with heart conditions, it's not bad. In fact, very good. And the amount of carbs in there is 96 grams. Now don't forget, we add the stock cube, which is 128 calories, no saturated fat, no carbs. There was four stock cubes in there. As we saw, the crock pot makes a huge amount. So it's reasonable to say that you're going to get eight servings out of that. So if we divide those figures, we have 16 calories for the beef cube. And we also have around 60 calories for the actual black peas, which takes it to uh, 76 calories. And we have 12 grams of carbs. Now, as we're saying in the book, carb view carbs, as soon as carbs hits your body, it instantly turns to sugar. So determine how much sugar you're having, if you divide that by five, it gives you 2.4 or two and a half spoonfuls of sugar. Now if you're losing weight, that's fine, I suppose, occasionally. I wouldn't recommend it's like you're having these every single day, uh, you know, but put them in the once a week, once a month, get the family around, nice big pot. And it's just going to be a nice welcome change and see how many people go oh i remember these have you cut those and there you go and you can tell them right so that's it for this video thank you for watching don't forget please subscribe like share facebook and youtube uh, more likes we get more we get to spread the word around about the plan then more people will know about it and hopefully more people will benefit from it uh, so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon